what's going on guys so for this next video i'm going to give you a more in-depth look at navionics app on my ipad um, we'll be able to see more of the features a um, little bit more of the user ability and then i'm going to show you some of the things i like about it and how i'm going to run it um, this this app is only 24.99 for an annual subscription, so that's a pretty awesome price for the same chart plotter maps that you're gonna get, you know, in the, the higher level or more expensive systems from Garmin or Ray Marine. Um, so stay tuned for more of those features and we're gonna get into it now. So I'm gonna go over some of the Navionics features. Um, this is on the iPad mini. So showing right here, that's labeled home. That's the dock my boat's at. Um, if I go back to the menu, I'm going to close that out. All right, so that's the dock for the boat. Zoom out. Uh, you got the harbor. Um, this is the harbor entrance right here. Uh, this is the Noyo bar. So it's pretty cool to be able to do this on an iPad. Um, as you can see, it's pulling a location right now. Um, the location's actually at my house right now, so you're not going to see the little boat icon or arrow icon, but if you were to want to go to a certain spot, um, you can go route and you can go to your route archive. So I already have one saved. Um, it'll, it'll take me to some of the fishing grounds here and then you hit go. You can zoom in. Um, it'll alert you of what the current ha <coughs> hazards are, um, gives you the best route for you to follow. Um, I'll go into some more detail in another video of all the things that Navionics has to offer, but as far as making your route for you to follow, um, it can be tied into your autopilot, uh, much like the, the multi-function displays. So as you can see, the route's going up. Um, you can see all the contour lines there, mapping the bottom of the ocean. It's a pretty simple chart, right, the way it is, um, but really cool feature on an iPad mini. Um, if we move over to my larger iPad, um, this one is my main iPad. So then I can go into here, we're going to go to relief shading, close that out. So now you have the relief shading. Um, it's going to show a pretty detailed image of the bottom of the, of the ocean. Obviously the colors change with the temperature of the water. Um, it's a really cool feature to have. So this is everything that you're going to get on the large multi-function displays on an iPad. Um, like I said, if you get an iPad that has the cellular capabilities like this one does, then it's automatically going to follow you up to 3.3 meters of accuracy. It's pretty good. Um, and then if you have one that's just Wi-Fi, then you can get a GPS receiver that's Bluetooth and it'll connect right to your iPad. Um, I do have another iPad going. Give me a second here, unlock it. This one runs the weather. So I can kind of see what weather is coinciding with my day. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So you can get you know a bunch of different mounts for all these iPads. Um, so you can mount it to your dash, um, your consoles, however you want to do it yourself. Everybody's different, so that's kind of cool to be able to have that um, mixed functionability of what it is you want to be doing. Um, and then uh, obviously on the boat, I have my, my fixed radar, which is on its own display. Um, so you can use that while paying attention to your charts. Um, I'll go into more detail on Navionics itself, but... If you're trying to save money, um, maybe you're on a budget, you have some iPads or you want to get some um, some tablets that run off of, you know, the different software, the Android software that already have the GPS capability, that's awesome too. But this is a good way to save money. Um, and then, you know, you can operate and then when you can afford the, the badass Garmin setups or, you know, Raymarine whatever it is you want to use you can upgrade and then have these as backups because redundancy on a boat is super important to be able to have a backup system uh, if anything were to go wrong um, if you were to lose power to your displays your chart plotter 
you have these portable devices that um, could, you could use battery power and get yourself home, be able to see the weather, and you can also plug them into your power on the boat, depending on what you have. Um, I've got inverters and you know DC power supplies, so there's a lot of different things you can do. But if you're trying to save some money and get what the other guys have without having to spend fifteen thousand dollars or more, depending on how many of these, um, I could tell you if this was the full size Garmin multifunction display, it's it's probably fifteen thousand dollars to get it all set up. Um, two thousand, two thousand or more for a display just this size. So this will this will get you going. Um, obviously, it's not a sounder. You're not going to have your your fish finder built into it, but um, you can you can do that separate, and that might be a lot of money. This is going to save you money, so you can get a good fish uh, a good sounder set up. And uh, yeah, this is a good a good option. So hopefully that helps you guys out. So going into the chart that I have now. Um, this has no overlay. This is a simple view. I'm going to scroll into where the boat is docked. It's labeled as my home. Um, you'll see these little red dots. So what those mean, if you go into the layers over here and we scroll down, you can set your shallow area. So I have the draft of my boat is four feet. So I have it set for four feet just for a quick little reference of where a shallow area is for my boat. Uh, we'll close that. So you can see on the chart that all the areas that are going to be shallow for my boat show up. Um, scrolling in, there's there's all kinds of different icons on the maps. Um, they're updated daily, so if anything changes, you're going to get those updates. Going into my layers here, um, I'm going to go to relief shading. Give it a second to populate here. So as you can see, this is the harbor. Um, coming down, this would be the harbor entrance with the jetty. Um, it's going to tell you what you're looking at. So we got the Noyal River entrance. Click on it, and it's going to give you information that's updated daily. Um, it tells you what type of uh, signal it is, what type of beacon it is. So you can see right there, it's a light having a green occulting light with a period of four seconds and a range of four miles, and a horn as a fog signal. So as you come out, you got your navigational buoys out here. We're going to click out of this. Um, kind of scroll over that. We'll get the information on that. And it shows you that information as well. You can, you can have a marker. You can share it to other people. You can even hit boat to, and it will map a route to that buoy. So we can try that. Da -da. So we hit boat to. This is at my home location right now, so um, that'll be difficult to boat to it. But as you can see, it, it populated it. So we're going to delete that route, and we're back in business. So zooming out, um, we're on the water now. Um, let's see, going to some of the relief shading here. Um, got some good rock structure. Um, you can get down pretty close to it, too. Got the contour lines. And then... If you're not into the relief shading, you can go to a sonar shading. So it kind of shows you the the depth and the shadows in some of these underwater valleys and ridges, which I think is super cool. Um, obviously, you can go back into no overlay, and you have your very simple chart functions. Um, I do have a route saved. So if you go here, we're going to go into... Let me see. Actually, we're gonna go to route, archive routes. I have one set um, to a certain area on the fishing grounds. So that route is now made and it's gonna pick the safest route for you and it'll update daily. So um, if you have autopilot, it, your boat's gonna tie into that and, and follow this route. Um, I like to do it manually because autopilot terrifies me when you have structure, um, shallow areas, things that are going to be uh, a bad day if you were to run into them. So obviously this is the whole route here. Um, currently this is the safest route for the day. Um, it gives you a lot of detail and a lot of things to to study and, 
and read about the area you're going to be operating in. Um, it'll give you the speed you're traveling. Um, it tells you how far it is. So overall, the route right now um, to that point is 127 miles for me because I'm at home. We're not at the harbor right now, but you will get all the information. You can click on it. Um, it gives you your direction, how fast you're going. You can obviously update the settings how you want it to knots right now. Um, what else is a good thing to know? Let's see here. Um, so say you wanted to fish in only 4 feet to 79 feet. So we set that, that fishing range, applied it. So anywhere in the red now, um, it can be any color you want, is going to be your, your target depth. So that also gives you a, a cool feature in Navionics to be able to stay within a target depth without having to really zoom in and read contour lines and depth. Um, I think that's super cool. We're going to go back to... 200 feet now we're adjusted anywhere from four feet to 200 feet and you can adjust the minimum because obviously four feet shallow um, anything close to that you're gonna be really up to shore and that's probably not gonna be your best option um, we'll turn that off um, you do have active captain community so you can add friends see other captains uh, you have AIS capabilities so if you have an AIS account you can have your boat tracked, you can share your location. Also a really cool feature. Um, we're gonna hit back, I'm gonna close this. So zooming in, these little squares are, they're rocks. It'll tell you if it's a large rock. So I think there's one in the mouth of the harbor that's pretty big. It actually says it's like a seven foot rock. Um, there it is, right, let's see, right here. So that's a, that's a pretty large rock, and you're going to click on it. Um, it's underwater, seven feet underwater. Okay. So that's cool. That's pretty cool information to know. Um, overall, I'm super happy with this. Um, Navionics is a super awesome chart package to get. It's from Garmin. Um, it's what's in all their newest stuff, so I think that's super cool. Um, let's see. You got satellite image, which is just going to show you the ocean so that's not that not that crazy but a lot of cool stuff um you can turn on seabed areas but overall navionics is a is an awesome package to have um, i've got it running on two tablets so if i want one to be you know this this view just for navigating on the larger display come over here and then i have the exact same stuff so if i want to just do this go to so I came over and uh, got this set up. So we have relief shading on the backup tablet. Um, so you got your route, basic chart here, no overlay, nice and simple. Um, and then that's on the big display. Coming over here, got the relief shading. So as I'm navigating, I can kind of play around with this. I could be walking around the boat anywhere if I want to take it off of the mount. Um, you know, if I'm back in the troll pit um, working, then I can I can have this with me if I wanted to and in a nice case and be able to look at the relief shading see exactly what I'm looking at um, if I went to my layers go to the sonar chart shading Let's see if I can get that to show here there we go um, and you, you get obviously a different view on what you're looking at so overall that's that's pretty cool to have you know, both of these running at the same time, be able to look at different things, and then also look at my fixed radar on the boat and, you know, be able to see what's around you, birds, weather, other boats. Um, overall, it's a good system to have working together. Um, I would I would highly recommend it. It works on the iPads. It works on the Android tablets. I know there's a Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy Tab, the S8 Ultra, I believe. Um, it's super cool. You could plug and play this, 24 bucks a month. You got it for a year, or not 24 bucks a month. It's a $24 annually, so that's cool. So another cool feature is going to be the weather. You can click basically anywhere on your chart. Click on weather, and it's going to bring up the current weather, barometric pressure, 
your visibility, chance of rain, you know, the usual stuff. It's going to give you the direction of the wind. So this is looks like it's a, a wind coming from the northwest. Um, 16 knots. Gives you the tide information the rest of your week. Then you come down and you can go to buoys. And we have a few buoys in the area, so we're going to click on this one. We'll go to the Point Arena. It's going to pop up a little diagram. You can click on the information. And it's going to tell you what you're looking at at that buoy. So that's really good for determining your wind and what's going on on the water before you head out. Um, the temperatures. So this is a pretty cool feature um, that I, I really like. Um, obviously, this works everywhere. So when you download this annual subscription, it's, it's going to download a fairly large area. Um, I have this whole section here and you're able to download the maps for offline offline use um, and you can you can download other areas uh, obviously going to our layers here we can go to let me see if i can go to my profile actually we'll close it there uh, i'm gonna figure out how to go to my profile i can't remember there we go uh, click on my profile and we are going to go to subscription. So here, this is your subscription page. Um, obviously you can click on it. Um, tells you right there, annual $24.99. Just renewed it. Um, but if you wanna if you wanna add more, um, you can you can obviously do that. And I think that's super cool to be able to do that, add more areas of your charts, more features as you go. Um, it's it's cool to be able to do it based on what you need. Um, right here, this is about all I need, so that's what we got. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, if there's any features you want to see, anything else, um, if you want to want to learn how to make a route, um, we can do we can do a video on that, making a manual route. You can choose a starting point, destination. Um, you can enter it by lat and long, or they have the full list of um, things that you can use, marinas, fuel stations, restaurants. So anything that's on here real time in real life, you can find it. So if you, if you have problems with your boat, we can go to repairs. We got places that repair it, and it'll give you directions on the actual map map. So if you're on land, and you need to figure out where this is, grab your tablet, pull it off the boat, hop in, or you can use it on your phone um, or just use their, their directions and go find it with your cell phone. But um, overall, super cool features. Um, we can go more in depth if you'd like, um, and we will, but just uh, let us know. Thanks. So that's how I have it ran. Um, I'm gonna be using this, uh, maybe in the future, getting a, a larger multifunction display going and then uh, be able to upgrade and have this as redundancy as a backup system. But for now, with some nice dash mounts, um, screw in place, it's, it's going to be a pretty sweet setup. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. There's a lot going on with the boat. We're going to have a bunch of equipment going on. We've been doing a lot of um, cosmetic stuff, painting, sealing. Um, here in the future, we're going to be getting girdies put on. Um, I'll be able to show you guys more in depth on the boat um start sharing some of the fishing and some of our adventures but stay tuned um give me a subscription if you like if you're into commercial fishing also we got our hunting stuff um it's been a while since we've been posting uh life is a little crazy uh had four kids and covid and all that so coming back to the game so stay tuned and give us a follow